We'll always be for somebody's friends, sisters, and pals. We'll always be for somebody's. If life should reject you, there's me to protect you. If I say that your tongue is vicious, if I call you uncouth, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will sit down and tell you the truth? Though now and again I'm aware that my candid opinion may sting, though often my frank observation might scold. I've been meaning to tell you for years you should keep your head natural, like mine. If I kept my hair natural like yours, I'd be bold. But darling, we'll always be dear companions. My crony. My mate. We'll always be harmonizing. Penny and Sandy. Like Amos and Andy. If I say that your sense of style's as far off as your youth, it's only that. Who else but a bosom buddy will tell you the whole stinking truth? <laughs> Each time that a critic has written, your voice is the voice of a frog. Straight to your side to defend you, I rush. You know that I'm there every time that the world makes an unkind remark. When they say Vera Charles is the world's greatest lush, it hurts me. And if I say your fangs are showing, main pull in your claws, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy would notice the obvious flaws? I feel it's my duty to tell you. It's time to adjust to your age. You try to be peg of my heart when you're Lady Macbeth. Exactly how old are you, Vera? The true. Well, how old do you think? I'd say somewhere between 40 and death. But, but sweetie, I'll always be Alice Toklas if you'll be Gertrude Stein. And though I'll But I'm so devoted. And if I say that sex and guts made you into a star, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will tell you how rotten you are? Just turn to your bosom buddy for it and affection, for help and direction, for loyalty, love, and for suit. Remember that who else but a bosom buddy will sit down and